Introducing Eric Butterbean Esh. Tipping the scales at over 300 pounds, he's not your typical fighter. But once he starts throwing punches, you'll witness the devastating force behind each strike. In this video, we'll showcase some of his most jaw-dropping finishes. Proving that appearances can indeed be deceiving. In February 1999, Butterbean faced off against the Canadian Patrick Graham to defend his IBA World Super Heavyweight title. Butterbean dominated the first round with dangerous combinations. His momentum carried into the second round. And dropped Graham with a well executed pull counter. And ended the fight with a powerful left hook, followed by a punishing body shot. Butterbean versus Lewis Monaco. Butterbean wasted no time and dropped Monaco with a quick left hand. Although Monaco managed to get up, Butterbean wasted no time in pressing forward, sending Monaco to the canvas once more. However, it was an overhand right that ultimately closed the show, dropping Monaco for the third and final time. You do see what happens when he gets a clear shot. It's home run derby. He's a big, strong Butterbean gets the job. In September 1999, Butterbean defended his IBA World Super Heavyweight Championship against Kenny Craven in Las Vegas, Nevada. Butterbean asserted his dominance early in the match, keeping Kenny on the ropes with a barrage of serious punches. The relentless assault proved too much for Kenny prompting the referee to stop the fight in the second round. Butterbean versus Kevin Tallon. The first round witnessed some wild exchanges between the two. However, it was Butterbean who gradually seized the upper hand. Butterbean wobbled Kevin in the second and managed to knock him down. Kevin managed to get back up, but Butterbean's relentless pressure became increasingly overwhelming. It was only a matter of time before Kevin found himself kissing the canvas again. Butterbean took on Rodney Phillips in May 2004. In the first round, Butterbean kept on throwing the overhand right trying to connect, until he eventually did in the second round. Sending Rodney crashing to the canvas and securing a knockout victory. Butterbean versus Doug Norris. Butterbean initiated the action by attempting to close the distance, leading to a fury of exchanges as both fighters traded punches.
And in the second round, Butterbean sealed the deal with a powerful left hook in the middle of their intense exchange. Well, it's wild now, folks, and there goes Doug Norris. Think of myself as Eric Esch. He's got his right hand there, and he... It's over. Thunder to forgive all the previous sins of the fight. Defending his IBA World Super Heavyweight title in May 2000 against George the Terminator Lindberger, Butterbean wasted absolutely no time that night. Butterbean needed only 19 seconds to close the show. Right to the bind, left hook that landed flush on the jaw. Oh. That left hand was actually pretty short, too. It wasn't a wide. On your referee, Jay Nady, has to call a halt to the bout. The of the first round. Butterbean now, versus Brian Henry. Getting off the canvas to win fights. He's third tough man and won the first two. In one of his first ever pro fights, Butterbean showcased his dangerous explosiveness in the very first round. Butterbean trying to Henry just hanging in there. Oh, he took a shot. And knocked out his opponent in the second round with a devastating right hand. Jack Hammer here. What else could he do? Henry just gets... All right, here's the official word from our door. All right. Butterbean faced Peter McNeely a top contender in the heavyweight division with an impressive record of 45 wins and only four losses. Despite McNeely's attempts to outbox his larger opponent and maintain distance, Butterbean's relentless pressure proved too much. In the final seconds, Butterbean swarmed, leaving McNeely unable to respond. With just one second left in the first round, the referee stopped the fight. Butterbean versus Ed White in 1997. Throughout the fight, he relentlessly threw haymakers, aiming to land the decisive blow that would send his opponent down. In the second round, Butterbean's persistence paid off as he connected with a powerful right, followed by a left hook straight to White's jaw. Sensing victory within reach, Butterbean closed the show with two decisive hooks to the face. In September 2000, Butterbean squared off against Marcus Road. Over the course of three rounds, Butterbean showcased his dominance by controlling the rounds with explosive combinations. The turning point came in the third round, when Butterbean delivered a devastating right hook that sent Marcus crashing to the canvas. Butterbean versus Jackie Beard. Right now, let's go over to Sean O'Grady, Sean. As the fight unfolded, Butterbean thrived to close the distance on his opponent, while Jackie strategically attempted to maintain space, even resorted to taunting Butterbean. He is a tough man, right? Because Bean just wants to However, Jackie's bold tactics backfired when Butterbean seized an opportunity, delivering a thunderous overhand right that landed flush sending Jackie sprawling to the canvas. Take his fortunes back. Butterbean versus Billy Eaton in 1998. The fight started with both fighters trading shots, but it was Butterbean who consistently landed the more impactful blows. Look at the pop is slide to his left. Slide to his left. Eventually knocking down his opponent. Times of heart while Bean is pounding out. Eaton 
is about the business of working. As the fight progressed, Butterbean's confidence grew, and he unleashed a beautiful right hand that snapped Billy's head back, signaling the beginning of the end for his opponent. He really lets it all hang out. That's why people like to watch. Well, it took more than one mule punch from Bean. Several. 